Oh, which one do I want to play? I think I'll just play regular Mega Man. I don't know what these things do. But I don't know how to use them. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Doesn't work. Huh. Interesting. How uh, how do you kill that one? Because the other one dies. What's different about the? I don't quite get what's different about them. I suppose you don't have to kill them, but so it's kind of weird. Oh jeez, more of them. Hmm. 
I'm, I'm glad that there's a rewind option there. Yeah, he's there to hit you with the jump, so you probably have to... You probably have to jump over him at the right moment. Spikes to go along with this guy. <laughs> oh boy, you look boss like. I have no idea if I can kill that. <laughs> I don't think we can do this. Uh, where do I go back all the way to the beginning, or do I go back to that kind of midpoint? Oh no, I start here. Neat. Murdering those things instead of trying to fight is definitely a better, better option. played that many Mega Man games before, honestly. But I do like them. I like the music. Right. No, no, no. That's not what I want. There we go. Alright. How about Mega Man 2? Ah, oh, they had a password system. Dr. Wiley. Yeah, sure. Airman. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, there's a lightning guy. I'm digging the music though. Too bad that their power-ups don't stay on the cloud thing. Ah, I thought that was power-ups. Didn't realize it's an egg. Filled with enemies. Ooh, noodles of death! easier than Cutman. That was a lot easier than Cutman. Hey! Get equipped with Air Shooter. Pinky Flashy. Message from Dr. Light. Good, I like my grand too. I'll tell you what, I'll save. Alright, what about Mega Man 3? What's Mega Man 3 like? Ooh, we have some, some more emotional music here. Uh, Snack. Snack Man. Oops, sorry. I just wanted to double check something. Oh, getting flashbacks to Zelda 2 in the uh, third? No, second level. Oh boy, that was incredibly dumb. <laughs> it was just a gun. Good music, though. The music in these games is fantastic. You know, I should probably stop writing the shit. Here, let me just retry this room. 
I bet you I can do it without actually getting hit. Okay, never mind. Oh. No, they do actually uh, target you a little bit. So that's good. I have no excuse for that. Whoa! A slithery snake. Gosh. He's so slithery. the enemies. Oh god. Oh, you can just jump from underneath it. I'm dumb. Whoa. Pole vulture. Look at that. Look at that animation. That's so good. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get random Mega Man music stuck in my head now, I'm pretty sure of it. This is good. Can he only throw straight or can he throw down to? No, it looks like he only throw out. He can only throw horizontally, so he's not too much of a threat as long as I don't jump up when he's trying to murder me. Let's go up this one. Oh. Oh. Some random goodies. Oh, gotta fight him again. Ow. I do like that they included a rewind feature in this. It's kind of, you know, cheating. It makes it easy mode, but. <laughs> okay with it. Alright, how badly am I gonna mess up here? Guys hurt a lot in general. Wow. They take off four whole bars when they hit. Let's uh let's try this ow. Let's try this again. Wow, those are hard to avoid. That's really weird. Oh, and they run towards you. I like to place the music backwards. Oh gosh, okay, I'll wait. That's neat. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It, it's, it's a shrimp. Oh, I love it. Okay, and he doesn't really get mad at you unless you shoot him. I like him. He's a good shrimp. Alright, how should I deal with him? I guess I'll just take the hit. Ah, uh, okay, that's how you do. A lot easier to avoid than when they're doing that, I think. What? Man. What is this Bowser music? 
Also, wow. He does, uh... Oh. Okay. Figured I'd just respawn with full health. Now it's a fair fight. Winner, take, none. There's a lot of damage when you smack into him, doesn't it? me laugh when people say that, like, they talk about Dark Souls difficulty and stuff. It's like, how about you just play, like, old NES games and stuff? That's where real difficulty is. Because especially without Rewind, you're asking for a, for a world of hurt. Imagine doing this in an arcade. <laughs> the number of tries you'd have to do. It's a lot of quarters. It's a lot of quarters. Sneak. Ooh, look at that. You got search snake. Otacon. I just got the search snake. Story now. Household robots rock and roll were created by Master. Shoot. Dr. Light. <laughs> we're enjoying the peaceful. Wait, can I rewind this? Oh gosh, I can. Oh no. The music. Uh, robot designer. Master robot designer. Okay. He has no name now. Dr. Light. And we're enjoying their peaceful days. And then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a. Rampage, and the world fell into total chaos. Dr. Light quickly realized that mad scientist Dr. Wiley was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock, having... having a strong sense of justice, volunteered to be converted into a fighting robot. 
Thus, the super robot Mega Man was born. So, did it take until Mega Man 4 for them to give uh, like an in-game backstory to Mega Man? Wake up, Brock. It's time to roll. I remember the, um, the Mega Man cartoon series. That was fun. Mega Man shattered Dr. Wise's plan three times and... World Peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. Dr. Kosak, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots and sent them after Mega Man. Mega Man starts, to starts for the battle again. That's a bit janky. This time equipped with a powerful new Mega Buster! Alright, should I play this one? How about... <laughs> Toad Man. Oh man. You ever read those books as a kid? Uh, Frog and Toad. They're like the bestest friends. Ooh. Again. Good music. <laughs> Am I fighting... Am I fighting penguins? Hold on. Flying, flying robot penguins? Doing wonderfully. This is, this is working out really well for me. Whoa, whoa, wait, what was that? Oh, I've learned a new move. We can, we can slide. Is this only because of the rain or can we do it normally? Because that's going to help us out a lot. Wait. There we go. Oh, whoa. No, no. I want you to jump. Um. I am not good at this game. I feel like I should be doing these slide moves whenever they dive on me. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shelter from the rain. Oh, no, more water though. Oh, uh, giant rats. And slimes. I'm now in Dungeons and Dragons. I like that you get pushed by the water. It's a good touch. It's been fun to program this. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Fine, I'll wait. It's like a Metroid. Oh, that was an extra life or something. It's always a whoa. Super snail. It's Gary on a bad day. Who can throw his eyeballs? That is not what I expected to happen. I miss the simpler games sometimes. Oh gosh, we have to fight one while we're on water. I like his... I kind of like Mega Man's unhappy face. Alright, best place to be to dodge that. No, he's gonna... ...size whatever he wants. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No matter where I am, he's gonna throw his eyes really well. Pretty much go to exactly where you were before. Is there any any indication when he's gonna do that move? Ooh boy. 
Come on. There we go. Is there like three bombs and then eyeballs? Nope. <laughs> Why do I keep jumping? I'm not clever. Oh gosh. Prefer not to get. Oh gosh. Jeez. That sucked. Uh, that looks like it's gonna murder, murderate me. Nope, I don't wanna... Yeah. How... I'm sliding? Nope. I guess it's just gonna have to be like an on the edge kind of jump. Oh gosh, how far over can I go? to use the fish. Can I ride the fish? Because this is death, right? Oh no, it's not. It's just water. Oh, what the heck? I was avoiding it before because I figured... Uh, I thought it was like an energy wave or something. Alright, Toad Man. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna die first. So I have full health. And then we'll see how things go. He reminds me of a guy from Dragon Ball Z, like the Guru Squad. I don't know why. I think it was mainly the little pose he did. So I picked up an interesting game today uh, through the Humble Bundle monthly subscription called Wander Song, I think. And it's a song where you sing, or something like that, to move, or the combat, I don't really know, I just saw the, uh, I got it with the subscription, and then was pleasantly, I thought it looked cool. And so I'll probably play that at some point, I was thinking maybe doing it tonight, but then I was feeling kind of lazy, and didn't feel like making a whole bunch of noise while, uh, while my friend housemate watches the Game of Thrones in the other room. Okay. So besides my own stupidity, Toad Man seems really easy. He just hops. Toad Man was the easiest one so far by, by far. Good job, Mega Man. Doing your blue underwear. Look how happy he is. You got rain flush. Don't know what that does. Oh, there's my puppy. You got rush marine adapter. Good. All right, well, Mega Man Five. I'm basically just playing one level from each of these. Cause I wanna, I wanna see how, uh, if at all, the gameplay evolved across each. The year 20XX and... And... Oh no. A vicious army of robots bent on destroying the world! And behind this destruction is... Proto Man. It's music. Let's go after Napalm Man. It's a good name. Napalm Man. Napalm. 
Oh, he lives in the tropics. That seems odd. Maybe he lives in Vietnam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that Napalm lives in the tropics. Oh, uh, sorry, in Vietnam. Because of the uh, smell of victory. I can probably avoid that by yep. avoiding this guy, though. Oh, uh... Hold on. When he jumps, oh, are we gonna stay in the pit? That works too. A subterranean cavern. Wow, all right. We got little cave miner dudes and flying, uh, what are those things? Did you listen to those songs? Uh, I listened to, was it Planet X? Planet X was one of the ones you sent, which was the instrumental stuff. And I listened to that. So the other, and I have a screenshot of the chat with all the other things on it, which luckily I grabbed uh, because last time I turned on that, like I did the little raid thing, and we went and raided what's his face, um, and I didn't realize that was going to change my chat into his chat, and it cleared out everything. So I'm glad that I took that screenshot, but it also makes it harder because I can't copy and paste it. But hmm, what are, ah, okay, it's just it's just empty. Um, so I did listen to Planet X. I listened to actually like three or four of their songs. I liked it a lot. It was good stuff. Water pushes you. Oh no. Helicopter blades. Appreciate the old games. Yes. I I do enjoy them. Uh I don't get to play them that much. Like I I don't remember how I got this. It must have been through like a humble bundle thing. I feel like that's where most of my random games come from. Um shit, no, I don't. I keep holding down. But like NES games. Over uh, this past Christmas, when I was staying with my sister and my brother-in-law, uh, we played through Super Mario 2 because I never actually beaten it. Mainly because uh, we got to Bowser once, and then I accidentally unplugged the game. That was a crowning moment of stupidity in my career. Oh, you're you're nice. Sorry for shooting you. And those leaders like this, they have more. And then they're going to just shoot huh. Neat. Have you ever heard of um, Star Bomb? They're a band who do like video game video game music. Uh, I should be able to avoid these for most part. Oh, his face is vulnerable. Star Bomb. Yep. Yeah, they do uh, silly songs about video games. He's totally getting uh, revived. Full health. Why not? Okay, there we go. There's some funny songs. Uh, one of my best friends from uh, childhood really likes them a lot, and so typically when I hang out with them, I end up listening to them in his car. I don't know, I made it. Okay. Don't know what that did, but alright. Oh boy, I wasn't paying attention. I like that they wear hard hats. It's good that the robots are safe in their work zones. They, they just released a new song a little while ago about, uh, about the plot of, of um, Kingdom Hearts or whatever. Nerdcore comedy rap. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. So if you're if you're looking for a laugh, I bet you that some of uh, the songs that they do will be games that you know. Shoot. I'm trying to turn around and then do that. There we go. This rewind button is really handy. Oh no, I apparently can't slide if I'm against the wall. So that's good enough. Also, I'm still really loving the fact that uh, it plays the music backwards when you use rewind. Nope. I, I don't know if... Oh gosh. 
I gotta hit both of them. There we go. Eh, okay. Good enough. Oh. So lucky if rewind is a thing. I probably really don't need to fight this guy. But I want to. Oh boy. Get close enough to spawn it and then go. Oh gosh. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, yikes. Do you know a band called Ailstorm? Yes, I do. Uh, that is another one of my friends' favorite. Ah, gosh. What do you do? Oh gosh. Alright, ceiling bad. I think I have I think I have some other uh more classic games. Wow. I should just die to get my health back, but I'm see more of his moves, I guess. Okay, so similar to Toad Man, if you kind of just stand next to him and dodge a jump move, it's not terribly difficult. Though, except for that area of effect on the explosion. Okay, move too close. Listen, oh, sorry. I should probably not try to read. Listen to songs. Sex by so got it. Pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good stuff. It's a fun fun band that does fun stuff. So it's kinda like um uh what's their name? Um they do beer is good. Uh what's what's the name of the band? Um Shit, I'm blanking on it. But they do Beer is Good. Uh, another silly song like the uh, Mosh Pits in the Shape of Giraffe. Oh gosh, what's their name? Oh, I gotta look this up. I gotta look this up real quick. Uh, beer is Good. Psycho Sick. Yeah, yes, that's it. Yeah, Psycho Sick is fun. Funny. I feel like if you enjoy that other stuff, uh, then you enjoy Psycho Sick probably. So, beer is good and stuff. That's how it be. All right, Mega Man Six, the first annual robot tournament. Oh boy, nice hair. The first BattleBots event. Eight of the world's most powerful robots, but dot dot dot. The song about Blue's really cool. Uh The song Orgasm Equals Love is hilarious. Mr. X's response to the tournament took control of the robots. <laughs> took control of the robots and began to take over the world. Mega Man, Mr. X, why? I've been manipulating that fool, Dr. Wily, from the beginning. <gasps> but now I no longer need Dr. Wily's F. Come and face my power, Mega Man. We'll stop you. Follow me, Rush. Alright, we should have had this time. Um, hmm. Gotta be Yamato Man, maybe. Is that our Centaur Man? Master of Spear. I like that he has stats now. Alright, what can I do? I can do that. 
Have you listened to For Whose Sake from 2005? I have not. I have not yet. Duh. I was listening to uh, Q sing Baka Baka Me Tai the other day. It's just hilarious. I'm thinking that I'm gonna pick up uh, Kiwami, which I believe is a like basically like a remastered version of the first game. So I'm definitely gonna pick that up uh, sometime soon. I added it to my wish list on Steam, so I'm hoping that it goes on sale. Not that it's terribly expensive by any means. It's like fifteen or sixteen dollars. Um, but it's just you know if I can get it on a sale tonight, then I'll do so. Can I can I not jump off that? I'm confused a little bit. Okay, he can drop with when you press A, but he can't actually jump down. Huh. What if I can fall down from up there? Yeah, that's probably it, maybe. Or wait, can you is this death? That's death. I keep accidentally doing the slide move. I like that they drop it right in front of you and not directly next to you. So if you just stand still, you don't get hurt at all. It's good. But no, I could I could listen to it. Uh, it sounds like it's if um, if it's related at all to for Buddy, then it's probably played during a boss, right? So, I might, I don't know, I might want to not listen to it, and then only enjoy it uh, when I actually fight whatever boss it is. Can I jump and then slide into that? No. Actually, as far as like old school games go, one of my, uh, one of my favorite old school games is The Adventure of Link, which isn't the most popular isn't the most popular Zelda game by a long shot. A lot of people really don't like it, but uh, I do. I think it's a great game. Like it's different than most of the other Zelda games, but it was a lot of fun. And it's it's what I had basically. Another Kami Rock bin. I like the Bowling Pursuit. Love the. Yeah, no, all those are good. One of my friends really loves Jimmy World. I never really listened to them. Uh, pretty much everything that you just listed off, though, besides that, I did, did listen to them. But for whatever reason, Bowling Pursuit never really, uh, never really made it out of their game. You can only hurt these guys when they open up, huh? Other than that, they just kind of get in the way and mess with you. Step on these if I can. Yeah, this, be, this is gonna be slightly rough. Can I... There we go. Oh, that's nice of them giving me help. Oh, I can still get nicked by that. Get, get up. Blink Super High School is a fun time to watch the Christian Lewis sex there. Alright. It seems. Oh, okay. I got you. Anyway, let's see here. Oh. Shoot. Link. Yeah. We're gonna have to jump over from here so we can land and then fire off a couple shots. Another old school game that I played recently was uh, Super Metroid 2, or just Metroid 2. I played that when I was on uh, Thanksgiving vacation down at my other sister's, and that was that was a lot of fun. Metroid games are always always pretty great. Okay, so what kind of stuff does he do? Does he have a jumping move that I can exploit? Feels like it. So he's definitely got better close range. 
Now, he, he has some form of uh, range attack, it looks like. And plus that spear, he's gonna be... It's gonna not be as easy as the guy was. I remember Saturday morning cartoons, they'd show Mega Man Battle Net Collection? Connection? Or Battle Connection? I don't quite remember the name of the show. Um, but it was fun. Yeah, he just runs right through you. Alright. Ooh boy. I would try to check out those. The real question is, since this this collection only has six games in it, and I've just played one one thing of each, I wonder which one uh which one I should do. Which mega games are better? Older new ones? Um hmm. so for context for me. Um, I have played the original Metroid a bit. I don't know if I ever beat it. I don't really remember. Um, and I have also played Super Metroid. And I have played... I think I might have had one for maybe like a Game Boy system. And Metroid Prime. I believe I played all three Metroid Trilogy games. Uh, I actually have the collection for the Wii, but I don't think I beat the third game, or maybe I didn't beat the second game. I don't remember. I know I borrowed it when I was when I was younger, and other games took up more of my time. So I think I don't. I didn't beat the second one, Echoes. I got really far in it though, or maybe I did beat it. it was just a long time, and I didn't beat the second one, or third one. Sorry, but probably my. I think my favorite one is probably just straight up Metroid Prime, because um, they they captured it really well. The like they brought the feeling of adventure and kind of uh, what's what do, you, what do you call it? Adventure and like exploring like stuff that is crazy and full of things. So yeah, and then uh, the the black sheep of the family is Metroid Other M, which has voice acting. And is uh, generally fairly hated by a lot of people. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Like I had a good laugh with the voice acting in it, and it wasn't it wasn't bad. It had good. I thought the mechanics were good. It was fine. Uh, it was, they tried to do something new and different with the with the way they did um, the camera perspective and being able to swap to first person to shoot. I thought that was neat. Um, it, yeah, but it's just, it's generally not, it's regarded pretty poorly. Uh, you can probably find, I wouldn't be surprised if there are YouTube poops of uh, Samus just going, the baby. Because it's, it's pretty good, actually. I wonder if I can find one real quick. Hold on. Because it's, it's kind of funny. Other M. The baby. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me... Let me grab this real quick. This will be pretty easy to grab, I think. And then, no, hold on, hold the phone. One sec, it's coming. Media source, at new, local file, browse, desktop, video playback. Here we go. It actually doesn't play the audio for me, by the way. So, but she, she probably says the baby. Not the answer. Oh yeah, the CD-ROM games. And the baby, and the baby, and the baby, and the baby, and the the baby. Yeah. Babies everywhere. Yeah. So it's a, uh, it's a game. It's a good game though. Honestly, I like it. Uh, let's get back to the actual game, though. 
<laughs> Looks nice and sounds right. Yeah, no, people were just surprised because I think it's the... I want to say it's the only game that really has uh, Samus voice acting in it. Uh, like, putting aside Metroid Prime's ugh, noises and stuff like when she gets hurt and what have you. So, but yeah. No, it's, it's a fun game, I thought. And it's really cheap as well, actually, because people didn't like it that much. So, it's a it's a thing. Let me, here, you know what I want to do real quick? We, we have 43 seconds, right? I want to install this random game that I got today. And play it. So, I should stream it. I could, I could do a replay of it. It's pretty fun. It's got a... It's got something kind of cute in it. I wonder what the... Uh, what, uh, what's, the what's the museum here? Oh. Oh, we've got production art. It's nice. Look at that. Colton. It's good. These guys... <laughs> Jet Mega Man. He looks like he should be in Dragon Ball Z. Honestly. Like, as part of the Guru Squad. Ah, Steam is finished. Alright. Oh gosh. Alright, one second here. We're gonna we're gonna see about this game. The game looks so weird before middle nineties. You don't like the floof from the eighties? That's it's good. I, I like the hairstyles they did. Okay, hold on. This might take